Hey everyone, this is Char with Char's Fashionation. Let's get that light on. It's really gloomy outside. Um, and hopefully you can hear me because my microphone went weird this morning. So I tested it on my phone and it seemed to have worked. I had to re-put this component back over my microphone. So... Um, it was a plus night teaching a friend how to crochet a hat, so I thought maybe I would redo some steps with you guys on how to crochet a hat. Now, why did we leave that tail in there? That's very important. You guys all know this and the steps of making a hat and having a good length of tail. And always remember, always remember to follow along with the same size crochet hook. I hope you guys can see that. It is the G or a 7. It is a 4.5 millimeter. Yes. Um, I thought my phone was ringing. Anyway, so what we do is we crochet a single, a single, all the way around until it literally fits around your head. So we crochet, single crochet stitch with your hook. <laughs> until it fits the circumference of your cranium. Now I am using the Karin Cakes today. Of course, you guys know I don't have sponsors and I don't mind that. Um, am I putting this under education? Absolutely. I'm also putting it under Creative Commons. Um, because it is a creative common. Do I use bright colors on my channel? Absolutely, when I do stuff like this. Bright colors. So. But it's really bright colors that I like to bring in. Some of them are darker colors of yarn. Uh, some of it's just because I do the hashtag history bounding. So I do that on Instagram, hashtag history bounding. So, um, once you get the hang of this, doing the single crochet, um, you know, it just goes quicker. I'm just going to say that. And also, once you get your hands comfortable with working with the crochet hook, it goes a lot quicker than you think. And it takes a lot of patience to do this. And along the way, just measure along the circumference of your head. Always make sure you bring it up around your ear. So see, it's almost there. Um, and if you wear glasses like I do, make sure that it, it fits comfortable around the side of your glasses. That's very important. Make sure it always fits very comfortable around your glasses and the circumference of your head. Actually, doing this is math. I know children don't like math. Well, if you don't like the math, hey. Okay. So this basically fits the circumference of my head and over my glasses, which is very important to measure like I said, the circumference and the measurement around your glasses. 
I keep thinking that my phone is ringing, so I'm just going to take that out and just set it on my desk. Like, I, I have that silenced for a purpose. So, one more. And then, because that fits the circumference of my cranium, I'm going to take it. And now, instead of doing a single crochet, which I could do going back, now on this part, I will do a double. Now, I could have done this last night with my friend, but <laughs> I'm going to do a double crochet. So, take your hook, take yarn around, Take it through the next hole. Okay. We have three on there. So what you're going to do, take it through one. This is what I do. You don't necessarily have to do this part like I do. Then you take it through two, and then you take it through two. And you've got that. Okay. Now we're going to do this part one more time because we want to square this off like it's kind of like the crocheted square knot is it not absolutely <laughs> okay take it through one take it through two take it through two okay and now we can continue on with double crochets now on this part, I'm going to do one double crochet in each hole. Now I'm not going to skip. This will give a nice ribbing effect. Okay. This will give a nice ribbing effect along the headband. So do that. Take to the next hole. Now. Go through one, go through two, go through two. Now you might call it a triple, I call it a double. Some pattern books call this a triple, I call it a double. Go through one, go through two, go through two. Go through one, go through two, Go through two. And now we're just going to follow this along the band the same way that I'm showing you. Now I will show you this again so you can follow along with this. Okay, pull that through. Go through one. Go through two. Go through two. See that? You're starting to get this ribbing effect on your yarn. I don't know how well you can see that, but you're, you're starting to get this ribbing effect with that band. So um, we will do this until we get all the way to the other end of the headband. Some people are lucky. I'm a very patient teacher when it comes down to this. Um, or I would just say, forget it. <laughs> oh, but you're lucky. I'm very patient when it comes down to certain things. You know who else is very patient? Jeffree Star. I watched Rich Luck's video and he posted like Jeffree Star's reaction to the so-called hairs and the um, the collaboration palette with Shane Dawson. You know what it was? It wasn't even hair. Um, which I thought it wasn't hair. I knew it wasn't hair. It was actually the uh, fabric fibers, which are non-toxic, 
from um, from the fabric that they lay over before they press the press pigments. Um, now, if you find a metal shard, that's completely different because the company absolutely did not use a fabric to cover the pigment and then pressed it without that and then you know that's completely different now again take that through and you go through one go through two go through two now i'm going to take this all the way to the end and then i will be back with that part to show you okay how we attach the <laughs> Oh, that way things don't get twisted, okay? <laughs> because, oh, teaching can be fun, but it can also be funny. Um, I guess I do just take it and go, go through. And then go through one, go through two, go through two. Oh. Or I could just... This might end up being a long video if I just continue, 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 um, which I don't mind doing, but <laughs> knowing that, you know, you, you're reteaching your technique. Um, I'm trying to keep the whole YouTube community in good spirits. Usually... What I say, which oddly enough, uh, comes to pass. So, uh, keep that in mind. Maybe it's like some sort of inside thing. I don't, I don't have any insight on it. Trust me. If I did, I probably wouldn't be poor. <laughs> I look for yarn silk. $3.99? Yeah, that's what I paid for that. That's a big skein of yarn. Big skein of yarn. I can get it for that price. Like, you can get it for that price at Michael's Crafting. You go. Um, I mean, I haven't shopped Hershner's yet. And I haven't shopped. A few other places for yarn. I can say I have not shopped the Hobby Lobby for yarn. That I have not done. I bought some uh, beads from the Hobby Lobby to do some peyote stitch. But I haven't done my peyote stitch yet. Oops. Did a blue bit. Okay. Now I can take that through. through one, take it through two, take it through two. Remember that. Take it through. Take it through one. See, I did a blue boo. Okay, but you can pull that back. And then take it through two and take it through two. And my same friend that I'm teaching this too. I hear from Sin City Soaps, you know, for Sin City Soaps and Candles that you will be making this uh, mint chocolate chip product. I'm interested. I'm interested in this. So it'll be like a mint chocolate chip ice cream thing. Girl, you got to get to talk to me about this. I'm interested in trying it. I'll give you some free advertisement right here with that product. Because you know I do that. Free advertisement for a fellow YouTube creator. Oh my gosh, let's talk about something. Um, I went to go get on Ann Rankin's uh, video that she did last night. And um, and I got on there today and it was so strange because like another YouTube creator had an ad and 
she was introducing herself like it was her channel and like now right there that's confusing um so let me finish this up to come to the end of this and then i'll be right back because we're already 15 minutes in and i don't want to make this video too long okay so um we're getting down to the last few chain stitches on this and that means that when we get to the very last one is when I show you that part to square that off and then and then how to secure both ends together which is what I always do I secure both of my ends together and make sure that that nothing comes undone while I am doing this. So we're down to the last stitch. And now this is what I do. Pay close attention <laughs> so nobody has a huge pew boo boo. <laughs> Trust me, it'll happen. Okay. So you take, yeah, as soon as it'll let you. So take your hook through, okay like we do with just doing this okay you take it through take it through and then take it through Ta -da! you've got a square end you've got square okay pull this like that you have this big loop leave it there now you're deciding which end do you want to do this at okay you know what i always just do it this way just do it this way pull it together make sure that your band is not twisted <laughs> uh, some things in life are twisted <laughs> try to make sure sorry <laughs> Be creative. <laughs> oh, okay. This is why we keep a very long piece of tail yarn on this. Okay. Take your crochet hook. This is a hook. Why is this a hook? It has a hook. It is a hook. A crochet needle. It's not a crochet needle. This is a crochet hook hook there's a knitting needle but this is a crochet hook why because it's a hook it's a hooked end you know like like a fishing hook okay take this through here oh my gosh we had such a funny time last night and then take it through here and now grab onto your tail yarn okay pull it through and make a loop and then pull it mine seems to be a little stuck but that's okay and then tug it now that that just makes one knot and we're gonna do this again in that same area to get this yarn out of the way and that loop which we'll get to that loop in a minute so again take your hook through both sides here take the a loop through there from the tail yarn and then pull that through and then tug it now leave the tail yarn alone. Now you don't need your tail yarn, okay? If you've been with my channel long enough, or even if you're new here, I thank you for this. Um, now, we're gonna do the same thing up here, but it's a little smidge different, okay? Take your crochet hook through. 
Now, you need that loop. That loop, don't be loopy, you just need the loop. Okay, just need that loop. Tug on your loop a little bit. This loop doesn't want to behave. Okay, tug on your loop a little bit. Now, pull that loop through. Now, I want you to pull another one through. Now, there's a reason why I did this. That has now secured the back of the headband for your hat. Indeed it has. Now, you have a choice of turning this either way to crochet. You can start crocheting going left or you can start crocheting going right. Now, again, we're going to do a double crochet. going to go into the next hole. Uh, once it lets me, I'm going to go into the next hole over, through, two, and two. Through one, through two, through two. And now we're going to do this all the way around. And when I do this all the way around through one, through two, through two. Now everybody does theirs different. Don't worry about that. Through one, through two, through two. 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 And again, it's giving us this ribbing effect along the headband. Also, it lets your scalp breathe. So, through one, through two, through two. I'm gonna do this all the way around, like I said, until I come back here. And then, because as you guys have seen with other hats that I have made, now I'm not making this a vintage style hat. This, this particular yarn is for me. I'm not making a vintage style hat. I know I look doofy in those, so I'm just going to make a particular hat. And I happen to like this patterning. In fact, this patterning is a patterning that can be um, unisex. So, um... Basically, this is a unisex pattern, so it can be used for either or. And uh, if you know a guy that's into purple, hey, you can even make a purple hat for a dude. Some dudes like uh, dark purples, and this is true. Some guys actually look good in a nice dark mauvey purple. Depends on the guy. Some guys can pull it off, some guys can't. Same goes for uh, any other uh, clothing uh, pigments, you know, the pigmentations that go into clothing. I think just about everybody can wear black. <laughs> As for all of us being able to wear white, nah, I'm not too sure about that. Cream colors, maybe. 
No, maybe not, because I think sometimes cream colors make skin look a bit yellow. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to do this all the way till I get all the way around to this end, and then I'll be back with that. Okay, and now we are back around to the back. And what I do is I basically put in, take the last one here. One, two, and two. And then when I come over to this part, yes, this is a curved edge. Now when I come over to this part, I'll just take this, you just take it through, and then take it through, and then take it through. And the only reason that I leave a hole, you know, kind of a, a little hole like that on the back is so that you can remember where the back of your hat is. And it makes perfect sense. And also that way, you can just hang it on something to let it dry. I mean, these are completely machine washable. Uh, this yarn is uh, acrylic and wool. Good to know, right? Good you know. Uh, so now we just start in a line of single crochet all the way around. Yes, I know. I just did all of this lovely double crochet work and now we're just going to do a couple of bands of single crochet and this is how you learn how your pattern starts taking effect in your work. And a lot of people don't consider how your patterning is, you know, takes effect in your work. So go into the hole right next to that one. And I mean exactly next to that one. I know there's three on there. I don't know why, but anyway. Um, yeah, there shouldn't have been three on there. should only be two. So then we just continue your single crochet all the way around and we're going to come back to here and then we're going to do at least three to four I'm going to say three. Depends on the size of your cranium. I don't have a ginormous head. Um, so, also, periodically, during your points of crocheting, it never hurts. And now always extend your, your working loop here when you're doing this. Um, check and make absolutely sure it's still fitting your head. Look, now it's a sweatband. Ha! <laughs> so, it obviously it still fits. Um, so, like I said, we're going to do, and you guys know me, where do I store my crochet hooks? In my hair. If I don't have long hair, don't worry about it. You'll figure out where to do that. Now, the one that's sticking out of my hair is my 5.5 millimeter um, crochet hook. And like I said, just continue this all the way around. Um, excuse me. Um, and that's why there was two on there. Duh. Some days you just feel like you need the extra cup of coffee. Coffee, the diuretic. <laughs> of champion. <laughs> Makes things happen. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be right back as soon as I'm done taking my single crochet chain around because this is almost 30 minutes long. And now I'm almost back around 
even though I got a little ways to go, this actually doesn't take that long to do this. Like I said, once you get used to how your crochet hook fits into your hand and you get comfortable with your crochet hook, this goes along so, so quick. And uh, like I said, you know, you really like if you're learning from someone, the first thing to learning is paying attention. I know a lot of people are hypertensive and that's OK. It's OK. You eventually learn. Um, a lot of people are just impatient. <laughs> like my friend would say, she always says she's old. Girl, you don't look old. Um, old is an expression of how you make yourself feel. I, no, my birthday's coming up. My birthday is Black Friday this year. And do I make myself feel old on purpose? No. Life's too short to make yourself purposely feel old. So, this now we're back around to the back again. Yes, yes, we are. We are back around to the back again and then we can just continue along with this and um when we continue along with this single crochet in the single crochet hold i think that this is one of the quickest ways to put a hat together you can have a hat put together i would say in probably an hour or two and now that we have that single crochet, the first one, completely around. And you can just continue it on. You see what I mean about the hole there? And then you'll always know where the back of your hat is. You will always know where the back of your hat is. That is like tagging what you've made. Although pretty soon I'm actually going to start putting labels inside of things that I make. It's going to be labeled with my label. Oh my gosh, how about that? I'm going to label my own clothing here um, soon, as soon as I can. I'm working on that. Um, does it mean that I want to make money for me? No, I'm poor, but I don't care. Um, have something that I wanted to go to. Yep, something I wanted to go to. That won't be going to me. That's like what? You don't want the money? No, honey, I don't want the money. I may be poor, but I don't want the money. See, now that shows the kind of person I am. I'm poor. I save for stuff. But if I label my clothes and I don't want the money and the money goes somewhere else, that just shows what kind of person I am. Truthfully. And, uh, you know, like... It's, and I know I mentioned Jeffree Star a lot. Let, let's take him for instance. He came from nothing. Seriously. Poor. Just as poor as me. And, um, look where he is today. So proud of that. You know who else said he doesn't care about the money? Shane Dawson. That he don't care about the money. He 
Team Jeffree Star banked $35 million in one day off of a pallet. Just one pallet. Shane Dawson, well, not worried about the money. <laughs> I think he's still shook. That's okay. You take a break there, man. Take a break. You deserve it. <sighs> Catch that one back through. Like I said, th this is really when you start noticing the difference in your pattern stitching. I don't know if you can tell that now. In your pattern stitching, how much more different your pattern stitching is going to be now compared to doing the double crochet. I don't know. The lighting in here, I try to get it nice. It's all weird. Bring the lamp over this way. <laughs> Um, and now the pattern stitching, your double crochet versus your single crochet. And I'll put the lamp back up there where of course it's not, you know, you know, um, but it's okay. This is really gloomy out today. This is, it's gloomy out there. Now it snowed for Rocco for a moment with Rocco, but. Because he's in PA. And he lives up in a mountainous area. So of course it snowed there. But I'm pretty sure it melted. Oh my gosh. I so want to like say a surprise thing. But he's going to do his video about that. So I promised him I'd keep it silent. Keep you hanging on the edge of your seat, though. <laughs> Until he does his reveal for that. Da, da, da. Yeah, and I'm sorry that this video is long today. Maybe, maybe not. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, with everything that's going on with YouTube, maybe I'm not sorry that this video is a little long. Um, but yeah, like I said, you really start noticing the difference in the patterning in, in this particular one. Now, we've only gone around twice, so I'm going to go around again and then, um, and then... Let me check this real quick. Take one out of my hair. Um, make sure it still fits nice. You do have to check that flat weirdly over my glasses. Yeah, still fits nice. And you see what I mean? Even when you have it on, you can really tell the difference in the patterning. And it's nice to know that when you make it a certain way, okay, so I have two there. Maybe I can go ahead and restart my double crochets because I want to start some more lines of double crochet because we have the two lines of single and then we can go with some double crochet. And that, doing the double crochet, I actually find that that makes it go quicker. All right, let's switch back up to double crochet. It does make it go quicker. Let me get a drink of water first. Oh my gosh, the amount of water I drink. Whew. Drinking a lake. <laughs> okay. So, now that I've decided when I come back to this part that I'm going to go ahead and do double crochet. We just come along to this. And now that we're back here, 
we're going to pick right back up on that double crochet. Except this time you're going to take two double crochets into that same area and you're going to follow this along in each one. So you're going to do two double crochets. in each one. And you know, I think we adults learn a lot from each other when uh, we do our crafting. And we do. We learn a lot off of each other. And there are some things I learned off of Juliet when she uh, had her channel up for Crochet and Me Too. And um, I learned from Spider Fiber. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot of people out here. You know, Smell Good Guy, which he also has, um, Smells Like Yarn. Same guy, Smells Like Yarn, a Smell Good Guy, or Smells Good Guy. Um, has a segment called, uh, Smells Like Yarn. Um, So, okay, and this is when you're going to notice your patterning difference. Obvious, obvious reasons why um, for that, because you're doing two double crochets in the same place. So, do that again. Stick it back through there. Through one, through two, through two. Now remember, this is my way of doing this. This is not everybody's way of doing this. Through one, through two, through two. Everybody knits and or crochets completely different. Everybody has their preferences for how they do this. And, um, you know, let's keep this art going because not a lot of people do this anymore. I mean, um, there's a lot of elders that, you know, are going away from us physically and they leave their dying art behind, you know. So, uh, let's keep this going. You know, I just, I worry about all of our channels. I asked my friend that I rent from here, I asked his 10 year old daughter, I'm like, how do you feel about, you know, what's going on? She's like, and then I asked her, you know, do you watch Ace of Clay? She's like, oh yeah, I like watching him. And, I, you know, I explained you know, the whole situation with that. And then she felt bad because she, you know, she's only 10 years old and she, she ended up accessing regular YouTube when she was on restricted mode. Whoops. How'd that happen? Whoopsie doodles. And that's why I said, you know, like somebody will restrict a kid's uh, device and then all of a sudden, they're back in. Kids today are not stupid. And then I explained what could happen. And um, totally not Ace's fault, totally not my fault. Um, yeah. She, he had that thing 
set on restricted mode. My friend did. He had her device set to restricted. So, like, a student. I feel bad for you, man. Like, I know kids like watching sculpting and, you know, it's very, it, it encourages them to want to do an art form. But, you know, try to watch out for each other here on YouTube. And it can be really hard to do because there's just, like I said, you know, either somebody took a kid's device off of restricted or they found a way to get around it. And, you know, or one of their besties did it for them. Either way, should we be punished for it? Absolutely not. I mean, but the kid genuinely felt bad about the whole thing and she's like but isn't that why we have youtube kids and i'm like exactly <laughs> exactly even a 10 year old even understood that i mean like really a 10 year old understood that under federal guidelines that kids are actually supposed to be using youtube kids She's not stupid. Nuh uh. These kids know. Absolutely, these kids know. So. Yeah, these kids are definitely not stupid. So, I will show you this in a minute. And, yeah, I don't mind bringing this to you. I mean, like, look at the work on that. Just the patterning work. And you guys can see the huge difference in the patterning work on this. And um, it does make such a difference, especially when you're using an ombre yarn. So, this will be all ombre and uh, which is gonna be really nice. I love deep colors. I really do, but that's just me. It's my preference and it's not by L'Oreal. <laughs> um, oh, sometimes I have to make those little jokes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you know, like I said, kids are not stupid. And some of these kids, some kids genuinely feel bad. And um, some kids could care less. Because, you know, they could just care less. Because they're spoiled. And I think that's why some kids could really care less. But when you have a kid that's genuine about, you know, how unfair it is to us, that means something. I don't know what you think, but I think it's good to have these kids that genuinely would probably stand up and say something like, hey, this isn't fair to them. Why are you doing that? Why do we have YouTube kids if? If you're uh, going to do that, we shouldn't be on there anyway. Why are parents allowing us to have accounts? Yeah, when it comes down to that part, I mean, just watching it is one thing, okay? But the parents that allow their children to have accounts, shouldn't your children be on YouTube, kids? 
isn't that kids content? Um, oh, there you go with that topic. When it's a child doing something, isn't that, isn't that right there approaching other children? I believe it is. I believe that that is what the kids' content actually is, is when other kids are making that content, um, or it's specifically directed towards a grade. You know, uh, let's say if they make kindergarten stuff and it's on YouTube Kids, you know, all the way up to middle school. To, to when they're 13. Okay. That should clarify it. Oh, there you go. Shar's fascination even with the law. I should tell you right there. If a kid makes content because their parents allowed them to have an account and they're actually directing their content towards other kids, not necessarily us. Cheddar, there you go. And I hate to have to see Jeffrey Star's channel go down and Rich Lux and, you know, all these makeup channels, the beauty community, like, hello, kids, pay attention to what you're doing. You got to be careful. Kids are watching your channel too. The beauty community may be in trouble. You guys got to think about that. You have kids watching you, watching how you put on makeup. Now you got to be careful with that. And you have to be literal with uh, how careful you are. I mean, that was like watching Shane Dawson's last video and seeing how many of these kids, and I mean kids, literally bought all that makeup. It was insane. So, yeah, that was insane. Like, who are these parents giving their kids credit cards? You know? Why should these kids be having credit cards at such a young age? And that by itself, and I'm sorry, I went silent there for a moment because we're almost around the other side of that. And, uh, yeah. Man, I went silent on you for a moment. Got through. And... Two and two, and then again, you take it back through that same hole. One, two, and two. And 
and again, one, two, and two. Uh, kind of liberating just to have a longer video today. I don't really care it is a longer video today. Uh, you know why? When I was doing Instagram TV, they, they cut it so short. Like, you only have 10 minutes for Instagram TV. And that's not enough time to teach anything. 10 minutes? Are you kidding? Need to expand that. Thank you. So, yeah, like, there's a lot of things, like, I think people have to think about. You have to be very wise about specifics. Like paying attention, just surrounds paying attention when you're being taught. I like I said, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't have a lot of patience. It's all right. That's cool. You'll get the hang of it eventually. Um through one, take it through two, take it through two, and that's why today's video is a bit longer than usual. Why not? Actually, as soon as I'm done coming around, this is going to ombre off to another color. <laughs> it's actually going to ombre off to a lavender color. Um, not sure if I want the lavender color in there, this really light lavender, or do I want to go with the deeper lavender color? Um, so yeah, not sure. I did a blue I meant to do two doubles in that one, and I accidentally took that double into the wrong one. Okay, but that's easily fixable. You just take it out and then put that in there, and then go to the next. And then through one. Uh, okay. Through one, through two, through two. Take it again, back to that same hole, through one, through two, through two. Okay. Through one, through two, through two. Again, through that same hole, and then we go to the next one after this one. Through one, through two, through two. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't be making a hat. You'd just be making a thing. <laughs> through one, through two, through two. 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 And see, we're almost around to the back again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then when we do this part, we'll try it back on again, which I believe should come up to about here because this is much taller now. And it'll be more crowned, um, sort of like a beret. So that means you can wear this in a beret of ways. Oh, oh you're like, that's cheesy. It would be cheesy if I made it in that color. <laughs> uh. 
<sighs> That's funny, right? Uh, we can't let this whole YouTube scare get to us. Uh, you really, like, we can't let that get to us. I'm not going to let it get to me. Like I said, I think they're just trying to scare the masses. As usual, they always try to scare the masses. Yeah, scare the masses. Uh, and see, now the yarn went naughty, and then we have to pick that yarn apart. Now, like, you don't have to necessarily clip this. There's a way to get around this so that you don't have to clip your yarn and retie it together and continue on. I'm not apologizing for what's in the background. They're just doing that out of ignorance and for attention. So I'm not apologizing. Right now, I'm in teaching mode. See, like, look, most of that odd is gone. And then you just have the patience. It takes a lot of patience to get a knot like this out. It really does. Um, a lot of people would just rather clip the yarn. I used to do that myself. And then I was like, you know what? That's a waste of yarn. Let me stop doing that. And um, you just learn to be very patient and take your time to get that knot out of your yarn and save yourself from wasting money and um, kind of a saving grace here. So uh, yeah, it is kind of a saving grace for your yarn. Pull this up here anyway. Um, I know a lot of you probably won't watch this all the way through, but if you don't, hey, you're going to skip learning something. You're going to skip learning something today. Well, you'll skip learning something. There's always a step to something to help you out. There's a step to wherever the heck the end of this is to get that loop free, right? We're like, wait, I thought you had it. And now there's two loops on there. What happened? Trust me, I don't know either. Um, I really don't. What we do is we'll just try to, I don't have small crafting scissors out here. That's with my sewing machine. And obviously I'm in the office. Even if I was in my room, I'd still be able to hear all the noise from out here when they when they decide to be noisy. I'd still be able to hear it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Well, we're going to try something. This will probably just knot it up worse, right? Hold on a minute. It's not wanting to come undone here, so we might have to do the thing I did not want to do. 
I really did not want to have to clip this yarn. Now look, one of those disappeared, and the other one does not want to disappear, so hold on. Well, we don't want to be fraying our yarn, and we're not afraid to clip and come back. <laughs> Little fraying joke there. Um, so this is how I redo mine, is I just do a knot like this, take them through, ta-da. Ta-da. And then we just continue on. That's it. Ta -da. We continue on. Um, because that'll be hidden away anyway. Yeah, let's see. We have two in that one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We just continue on. And it looks like we have some ombre effect here anyway. So that's okay. That's cool. I guess there wasn't which purple that might be. Huh. I don't know. They had some sort of purple in there. That it's a nice purple. It's a nice purple. Okay, through one, through two, through two, and now we just continue on instead of being picky at a knot. Through one, through two, through two, and then that's where that comes up. And when you take that, you're just basically um. Yeah, sometimes that, that's the part that gets right in there when you go in to go through one, through two, through two. And now if you want, you can try to tuck that in, in, or you can figure out later on which is... Well, you don't really figure out later on this is actually how we're crocheting. That's the inside of your hat. But this is actually on the inside. You're not going to have to worry about that. So basically, we're crocheting this hat inside out. So this would be the outside of your hat. This is the inside of your hat. It doesn't matter. It's the same color. Okay. Through one. Through two, through two, <sighs> through one, through two, through two, through one, through two, through two, through one, through two, through two, take another one through there. Remember, we're doing two double crochet and one hole. Through one, through two, through two. Through one, through two, through two. Through one, through two, through two. Take it in again. Through one, through two, through two. This is exercise for your hands. Through one, through two, through two. Through one, through two, through two. Through one, through two, through two, through one, through two, through two. Oh, no wonder my blood sugars are getting to a certain point. Ah, oh, it's almost time for me to eat. I didn't even recognize what time it was. Oh, I'm going to eat my leftovers. I'm excited about those. Made something really good yesterday. Um, yeah, I did. I made something really good yesterday. And what I did is because I'm on low income, you know, strict budget. Um, so what I try to do is make my food expand at least a few days, like cook one meal, make that food expand. So, um, yeah, 
absolutely. When you can do stuff like that. Um, when my sons were in Head Start, um, I helped write part of the book for Head Start for uh, meals, like one pot meals for families, low income families, or just families in general. Um, and, you know, these families were like, well, you know, we didn't think we could afford to make that. Then they realized they could afford to make what the instructions were for these meals. And I'm like, no, 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 you can afford this. Trust me. If I can afford it, you can afford it. It doesn't really cost much. Um, and then when they would make these meals, they're like, oh my gosh, the kids actually tore that food up. I was like, well, that's good because now they're getting more nutrition into their body. Don't tell them what their, you know, the vitamin content to their food and they'll just continue to eat it and grow stronger. And their immune system started to build up and get stronger, which is great. Because when you can slip them their fruits and vegetables. <laughs> and they enjoy eating it, even though they think they're eating, you know, junk. Um, and they're actually eating healthy. And they don't know this. A lot of kids don't know that a shepherd's pie made a certain way is actually healthy. Um, because they don't know that they're getting that nutrition. And uh, absolutely getting their nutrition. So, yeah. Okay, now that we are back to the back area of this hat. One in there. Now I gotta put one more in there. Through one, through two, through two. And now we are to the back, back of the hat. Excuse me. Um, we are going to take the hook through, and we're just gonna fasten this. This time we're just going to fasten it be a temporary fascination. Anyway. <laughs> and try it back on the cranial. Because you know it'll fit. Absolutely. Yes, here we go. This is the crown portion of the hat. Okay, see how that's like you have the headband part that goes here. Obviously, it doesn't go over your brows unless you like to wear your hats like that. I don't know. That's you. Um, and then this part is here. And now this will be the part where we start taking this in. Isn't that lovely? It's like a little crown. It is. It's like a crown. Um, I got silly with my friend last night. I wasn't using this yarn with her, but this is kind of funny. I look like Gaber. <laughs> Gomer Pyle's cousin Gaber. <sighs> but, yeah, I will come back with a second half to this hat. I need to go eat. I know I probably should have cut this video short, but I'm not really caring about that right now. Um, I just wanted to show this to you guys in some full detail instruction. And I don't really care how long my video was because YouTube is messing up badly. And I want you guys to be able to enjoy things before it goes crash boom and or might not be any longer. Um, not us, YouTube in general. <sighs> I think they're just trying to instill fear in us so that we go away. Because we smaller channels are making them money. But they're not 
they're not thinking that we know this, but we'll go into that on a different video. Okay, anyway, guys, I'll be back as soon as I'm, you know, eat something, and then we'll finish up this hat. Um, oh my gosh, this is like these beautiful colors in here. Um, there really is. There's a lot of beautiful colors in here. Uh, oh, and I'm excited to use all of this because I'm going to make me a pair of winter gloves out of this year. <laughs> Funny. So stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because I'll be back with the rest of this. See you in a few. It'll be a few to you, but it'll be a little longer at me.